Hi all, today I am discussing about introduction to microwave organic synthesis. We know that in electromagnetic spectrum, the microwave radiation is located region between infrared radiation and radio waves. Microwave have wavelength of 1 millimeter to 1 meter corresponding to frequency between 0.3 and 300 gigahertz. These are similar to frequency of radar and telecommunications. The frequency of radiation that can be emitted by household and industrial microwave oven is regulated. Most of these appliances operate at a fixed frequency of 2.45 gigahertz. The microwave oven are used for heating purposes. The mechanism by which microwave give energy is complex. It is believed that microwave heating involves selective absorption of electromagnetic waves by polar molecules. Nonpolar molecules are inert to microwave. On subjecting to an electric field, the microwave with a permanent dipole becomes aligned and as the field oscillates, their orientation changes. These rapid reorientation produce intense internal heating. Thus, in microwave heating, there is core and homogeneous heating compared to classical heating in which heat is transferred by preheated molecules. The microwave reaction is conducted in a tall beaker, preferably for a small scale preparation in the laboratory, which is loosely covered and the capacity of the beaker should be much greater than the volume of the reaction mixture. Alternatively, Teflon or polystyrene containers can be used. These materials are transparent to microwave. Metallic containers are not used as reaction vessel. The picture shows Teflon and polystyrene containers. We know if a molecule is microwave active, then it must have permanent dipole moment. So the solvent which can be used for reaction with the microwave must have a dipole moment so that microwaves could be absorbed and the boiling point of the solvent should be 20 to 30 degree higher than the temperature at which the reaction has to be performed. For a domestic microwave oven, an excellent solvent is DMF that is NN dimethyl formamide. The solvent can retain the formed water in a reaction, thus obviating the need for water separation. Hydrocarbon solvents like hexane, benzene, toluene and siren are unsuitable because of less dipole moments and also due to poor absorption of microwave radiation. Liquid which do not have dipole cannot be heated by microwaves. By adding a small amount of dipolar liquid to a miscible non-dipolar liquid, the mixture will rapidly achieve a uniform temperature upon irradiation. In microwaves, the energy is directly imparted to the reaction medium rather than through the walls of the reaction vessel as is the case in conventional heating. Therefore, Microwaves are considered as a more efficient source of heating. Well-designed industrial microwave oven are available now. Some simple examples of reaction conducted under microwave irradiations are given below. Conversion of benzyl chloride to benzyl alcohol under microwave irradiation of 3 minutes and conversion of N phenyl benzamide to benzoic acid in presence of 20% H2SO4 under microwave irradiation of 12 minutes and phrase rearrangement. Then 
we will discuss the difference between conventional heating and microwave heating in conventional heating reaction mixture is heated proceed from a surface usually inside the surface of reaction vessel but in microwave heating reaction mixture heating proceed directly inside mixture second one in conventional heating the vessel should be in physical contact with the surface source that is at a higher temperature source but in microwave heating no need of physical contact of mixture with a higher temperature source while vessel is kept in microwave cavities third one in conventional heating thermal or electric source heating takes place but in microwave heating by electromagnetic wave heating takes place in conventional heating mechanism involve conduction but in microwave heating mechanism involve conduction and dielectric polarization then discuss advantages microwaves generate rapid intense heating of polar substances with consequent significant reductions in reaction times many reactions occur by conventional heating result in very low yield but under microwave irradiation result in higher yield the main advantage of microwave heating is inco heating of material in homogeneous and selective manner the smaller volume of solvent required contribute to a saving in cost and diminish the waste disposal problem then microwave chemistry is the current approach in green chemistry which involve the design and redesign of chemical synthesis and chemical products to prevent environmental pollutions and thank you